The only problem I see in today's quarterbacking, a lot of it is the coach is trying to play chess, but the quarterbacks aren't. The quarterbacks are snapping the ball, and then they're mm -hmm. going, okay, how do I react to what happened? And a lot of the times, you know, you're, there's no perfect play that can be called from the sideline on a consistent basis because they're just calling probabilities. Okay, there's a probability on third down. In short, they're going to play man-to-man -man coverage. So, therefore, on my call sheet, I'm going to call my man-to-man -man beaters. Oh, they didn't call man-to-man. -man. Looks like, you know, a simple cover two zone. This play isn't really working for that. Okay, in my mind, it would be like, okay, let me get to my best cover two play against this look, as opposed to now we get the ball. Okay, it's it's we've got a bunch of crossing routes into cover two. That's not good. Let me hold the ball and go run it. And then people on TV go, oh, you know, great play, way to run. And in my mind, I'm going, why did you snap the ball? I mean, you clearly knew no one's going to be open because, I don't know, in all my years of playing, in 20 years, that wasn't going to be open. But how do we continue to say, all right, quarterbacks, you got to see the whole picture? It's, it's, it's in front of the data or behind it. Exactly. If you're in front of it. You own it. It's reflexive. What you just described, all the things you have to handle, you handle reflexively because you, yeah. the data is inside of you. And the only way you can get in there is you got to go to school.